Welcome back. Earlier this week, some viewers just east of St. Cloud sent us these phenomenal pictures of the Northern Lights. Well, this coming week, several organizations across Minnesota are celebrating Stargazing Week. So we're talking about exactly this. Most people, especially major cities, have never had a chance to see the Northern Lights with their own eyes, but there's a chance to learn about them through a new documentary focused on these majestic natural light displays. Oh, they're just so gorgeous. Joining me now is John Shepard, co-producer of the documentary Northern Nights Starry Skies. John is also an associate professor for the Center for Global Environmental Education at Hamlin University. Nice to meet you, John. Welcome. Great to meet you. Thanks. The Northern Lights, as I mentioned, we did a poll earlier this week, and so many people, especially, again, when you're taking a poll in a metro area, have never seen them mm. but want to mm -hmm. so, so badly. These pictures that we showed, St. Cloud, is that yeah. pretty far south? Is that rare to see Northern Lights? I think there. it's easier to see them to the north, but I think the big thing is if you're in a big city, the light pollution from the Twin Cities or St. Cloud, places like that, will obscure the sky and, and make it difficult to see them. Yeah, so obviously places like the Boundary Waters and the further north right. you get, um, it's a lot easier. Talk about the science of it. You sure. know, Aurora Borealis, Northern yeah. Lights. What exactly is it yeah. that's happening in the sky that creates these magical colors? Right, so it all starts with the sun and uh, solar, what are called solar storms. So solar activity uh, where, you know, uh, great plumes of uh, energy are blasted off from the sun. They travel to Earth and enter the atmosphere, and then there's a reaction uh, to within the atmosphere that produces the lights. It's really an extraordinary thing. Yeah, and they're beautiful. Whether you're capturing them through video or seeing them in person, mm -hmm. through this documentary, you've really focused even more so mm -hmm. on them. Uh, tell us about this. It debuted in the yeah. fall, but now some people in the metro, and soon, next month, yeah. we're all going to be able to uh, be able to see it. Tell us about the film. Right, right. So the film uh, is really a celebration of the northern lights, but also just the night sky, the Milky Way, our ability to kind of really appreciate the stars overhead and one way to think about that it's a wilderness area that is always right there over your head but we can't always see it because of light pollution or you know overcast skies that kind of thing but northern Minnesota the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Voyagers National Park Quetico Provincial Park in Ontario are dark sky sanctuaries they've been designated that because it's dark enough there that many times, uh, you know, all year round, you have tremendous opportunities to really appreciate the dark sky. So the documentary celebrates that. We, we incorporate indigenous knowledge. We work closely with uh, Native American uh, photographer, uh, Travis Novitsky is my co-producer. He's up at the Grand Portage Band. He's a member of the band, incredible photographer. And he kind of leads us on a journey through uh, the north, northern Minnesota and, and ways of appreciating the night sky. And it's just a, it's a fabulous adventure. Um, so that's, that's the heart of it. It's an hour long documentary. It's already been broadcast in northern Minnesota on public television stations there and is gonna be coming to the Twin Cities and elsewhere uh, public television in March. So it's coming up. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that. And you yeah. said the vast majority of it was filmed uh, just this past summer. Yeah, a lot of it, yeah. Indeed, so. Mm -hmm. What else can people look forward to for Stargazing Week? This is just one element. Right, so the Friends of the Boundary Waters, Voyagers Conservancy that supports Voyagers National Park, um, and Starry Skies North, which is a uh, organization that uh, celebrates the night sky and really promotes understanding about ways of reducing light pollution. They all have events going on this, this week. This is kind of a special week. So stargazing opportunities in the Twin Cities and uh, activities in schools. And uh, there's gonna be a whole bunch of new learning resources made available to K-12 schools in Minnesota and elsewhere. Part of the work that we're doing and our partner organizations as well. Love it. Well, congratulations. Yeah. I know, I'm sure it's been a labor of love to get to this point and now be able to finally share it with people and uh, lots to look forward to this week. Uh, John Shepard, co-producer of the documentary to look for Northern Nights Starry Skies. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.